Each song that we sing and each story we tell Each hero we name and each life that we sell Each breath and each beat of your heart is a beat of the drum Give me drink in my cup and friends who will share it Song on my lips and ears that'll hear it Fire in my eyes to light all the good people I see Nowhere that I'd rather be Before ten in the morning We're barely alive We're like ghosts, we're like spirits And then coffee arrives Then heroes awaken and stand by your side Now gather your courage And sing out your pride But the storm will not break us Although it may try The sun may beat down And may bake the world dry But we stand by our neighbours And raise them up tall Gather your voices and scream out the call For you are my empire and you are my hall For you I would fight and for you I would fall For you are the beat of my heart and the heart of my song Give me drink in my cup and friends who will share it Song on my lips and ears that'll hear it Fire in my eyes to light all the good people I see Tell you, my friends, there's nowhere that I'd rather be. So fill up your tankards and fill up your lungs. Leave no words unspoken and no song unsung. Make noise for your heroes, your kith and your kin. Sing out their names and the pride that they bring. Together we stand and divided we fall. And the future we write will be shaped by us all. For we are the singers and we are the song of a story that's greater than more sing along. Give me drink in my cup and friends who will share it. Song on my lips and ears that'll hear it. Fire in my eyes to light all the good people I see. Tell you, my friends, there's nowhere that I'd rather be. Give me drink in my cup and friends who will share it. Song of my. That was weird. Very weird. Hello, everybody. How are we all doing? Hello. Thank Bebo, Pete, everybody. Did feel, yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. It all decided to catch up very late on. How are we all doing? Are we all good? Are we all as knackered as I am? <laughs> After that, I am so tired still. Um, yes to being knackered. Good. Yeah, built on socks. So these are very, very... How's the cool vid? 19. Yeah. I feel like shit. <coughs> oh. It's uh, messy. I'm not going to call you messy anymore. I'm just going to call you big deal. Chris, good stuff. How are we all doing? So, yeah. Um, so, a member of Hurstall has said, uh, has told us all that they've got COVID. And I felt crap, so I thought I'd do, I'd do one as as well. I have COVID, um, so you know that sucks, but I'm here. <coughs> um, not that. Let's have a look. Let's go through chat because this uh, this is this is what this one's going to be about. I want to hear good stories and that because I didn't have anything bad happen. All E4. It was incredible. Um, I hope everybody is enjoying 
my COVID voice. Not the burp that I just did, but you know, the COVID voice, because I've dropped, it's got a lot deeper. I thought I was knackered, then I saw you, Steve. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so happy to have finally met you, albeit on, only on the Sunday when you were packing up. It was good to meet a lot of people um, for the first time. There was a, um, so I got to meet Circuit for the first time. And Circuit, someone I've spoken to a fair bit, and it was really nice to meet them and have them come along and and all of that. And I feel if if Circuit is watching, I'm really sorry because I thought you were waiting for Chris Gallen, not for me. So I thought, okay, she, they're, they're waiting for Chris, not me. Um, sorry. But it was good to meet you, and it was nice to see you stayed with us all evening as well. It was awesome. Um, hey, Tony, I'm good, mate. I'm good. I, I have the Rona, but I'm plodding along. Um, I think it's I think it's going to hit me quite hard due to everything else going on, so... I'm I'm expecting to be asleep for the rest of the week at the moment. I ache, I'm very tired. Yeah, I had such a bad night's sleep last night. I did too. I did too. I don't know why. I was knackered. Um, how handsome. I'll I'll get to you later, my friend, because you you've um you've given me a, you gave me a great moment. That was so funny, so funny. Um. Digby did a test, but we're negative, but fuck, just tired. That's good. Better that you're tired than got anything else. Um, I'm very quiet, am I? Sorry. Um, let's move that forward a little bit. <clears throat> and turn me up. Right. Is that better? Is that better for everyone? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, got no test in the house, getting one tomorrow, but I feel all okay for now. I hope you're not suffering too long. Yeah, me too. Me too, mate. Um, if you're feeling lethargic or headachey, then take a test. That's all I'd say. Um, it's extra sexy. I know, right? Um, I just walked in the door. I was wondering how I would feel when I saw your name pop up, Mr. Bolam. I was still laughing, like, the following afternoon. I couldn't stop. It was great. Uh, I tactically threw an election to get the result I wanted. Had a good E4. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you did really well. That election, so... For those who don't know, Digby went for Senator of Harnmark against one of the Dunnings and took it close. The, I mean, any time anyone else has stood, it's been very, no, they just lose and it's all over. But, Dig, but Alf took it, took him a long way and is now the um, proxy to the Senator. So I think it's really, really good. Liam, 24 months. You crazy four. You crazy fool, not crazy four. I was reading four. Quite tired. Um, Liam had a great event. And Liam, I hope he doesn't mind me um, talking about it. Um, so Liam caused, almost caused a diplomatic incident. So, Jamie, thank you. Thank you for subbing, my friend. No, you're not subbing. You are subbing. You're following. You're doing a thing. You've done the stuff. Awesome. Um, and caused an, a diplomatic incident between his hall and the orcs. And he did well. He did very well with it. Um, and he's using it to push on. So he's done a good thing. Really, really good. Um, 
but he <sighs> LARP is weird in the fact that when you do stuff um, that causes like some anger towards your character it affects you personally as well and it's, it's happened to me it's happened to a lot of people I know so and Liam has taken stuff on the chin and he's done really really well with it I'm really proud of him he's Toddy has hit the ground running and he's been going well for a while it's fantastic to see so I when I'm able to I'll have a beer for you Liam you've done well mate um now I'm on your screen. Excellent. I hope you're laughing. I really hope you're laughing right now. Thank you so much for that hug in Dark Blade, Steve. I needed that. I'm sorry I didn't get over to see you. I think we were ships that passed in the night. We were. It was good to actually to meet you. And it was nice to see you in Dark Blade as well with your hat. And to give you a hug. It was great. Really, really good. I'm... I'm glad it's picked you up and everything. I'm I like hugging. Um, her first day of recovery going. I hit the LARP blues before we even finished unpacking the car. Oh, you. It was a shame you didn't come. We couldn't find you for the Axos meeting. Big deal. But it was really good to have you. Um, like know that you're going to be involved in it because I'm gonna, I'm going to need a lot of help doing what I'm doing now. So. Um, but LARP blues suck, but we're going to do the, I'm going to do these things. I'm going to keep people talking. We'll get people involved. I need to write, I'm going to write you a letter. So hopefully things pick up. Um, COVID voice is good. Should release a Christmas album, belting out those deep gravelly tones. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. I'll have to look into that. Steve does the best hugs. I yeah, I've been told this now, um, publicly by Pete on Twitter. <laughs> <coughs> oh, so hey Matt, how you doing? It's good to see you. Can't wait. Still riding the event high to be honest. Yeah, it was such a good one. I had to nip to Tesco's last night for milk and was still in full. Tristan mode saying loud hellos to confused strangers. Brilliant. Good. I slept all right last night, but then I did need catch-up sleep after the weekend. I had a little nap this afternoon. Much better. Good, good. That's all right then. I'll be retesting in the next few days. Since not sure if LARP tired or Rona tired. Yeah, testing a... Um, it's a thing, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have to get everyone in chat to persuade Boland to let us reveal the thing. Because, well, not the other person thing, because they're not present to defend themselves or do anything. But to reveal all of Bo Boland's thing, um... Is brilliant, but we we need ideally we need Ryan here to do his Matt Berry voice because that's what sealed it. God, if I start laughing that hard, I oh my God, it'll hurt so much, but it'll be well worth it. I love the election. The election was really good. He's gonna have to pay a lot of people. I'm still laughing myself. Good. Bolum is indeed from Sarvos. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks, yeah, go ahead. Good stuff. I'm glad you're good, Liam. Uh, before I forget, uh, that's for Helen. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to catch up with chat at the moment. Oh. We've had one diplomatic incident, yes, but well, what about the second diplomatic incident? Oh, my eyes hurt now. Oh, great. Bear with me. Oh. 
I don't know about the second diplomatic incident, I'm afraid. <clears throat> um, I know it was so much better than the pub crawl we did in E3. Thanks, man. It's a great game, yeah. I won't say it didn't shank me, though, OC, but yeah, everyone said it's a great game. I created. Yay, Mark. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Glad you got home, okay? Um, even if Bolum is now threatening me uh, to make a big deal song, that needs to happen, Jesse for Bonebreaker. The leaguer in the pink dress came to say hi. It was nice to meet you briefly. I'm sorry to you, Noel. I'm fine. I'm fine. Your kit looked awesome. There is a picture that has gone up of <coughs> Jean de Sabos um, in the um, the photos uh, channel in the Discord, and you're in it. Your kit looks so good. Look really, really good. You did really well. Um, I will come talk hospital and access uh, that word accessibility stuff when you're recovered. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. Cursed another person, got cursed myself. Thanks, Wintermark. Got a big magic result for Navarre. Um, narcotics are good and clever. Yes. I'm going to say why your name is up on stream. On Saturday, I had a massive. Like, I've all, I've been very open. I'm like very open with mental health, and how we all uh, people support each other and look out for each other. On the Saturday afternoon, I had a I had a fairly large wobble. Not gonna lie, and I walked away. I just had to walk away. Um, and I thought oh, I'll go and have a look around here because it's. I'll go and meet some people I don't know and I'll try to pull myself out of it. And Issam was there and we went for food. He gives good hugs and he's just a all-round top guy. So he's in my top three of Issams. He's the only one I know. Um, he's brilliant and he really pulled me out of it and I'm really grateful really really grateful to him um so yeah that was fantastic um basically sorry i didn't get a chance to swing by and say it's all right there's always e1 we'll meet i'm sure um but yes i will get on to the drugs we will talk drugs chat is so far ahead of me it is unbelievable um hope you had a lovely event and hope you're rid of covid soon thank you nexus nexus we need to have a conversation we need to have a conversation my friend um e1 want you to come also want to pay for your ticket also want to fully kick you out so you'd only have to worry about a tent and food and get in there so message me on discord and we'll, and we'll have a chat Okay. Uh, me and Beth are listening on our way to Liverpool. Well, Beth, you are. It. Um. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you've guessed that Cal is now your great uncle, and um, there's going to be a staged event at E One involving Cal and Mercy. For those who don't know, I'm not going to tell you the story behind it, the plot or anything like that behind it. There's going to be a bare knuckle fight going on at E1 in the Glory Square between Cal and Mercy. We're choreographing it and there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in that fight, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun, well worth the watch. Um, I will, if everyone stops chatting for a second so I can catch up and then we'll go from there. But that's just going to provoke everyone to chat more, isn't it? I shouldn't have said anything. <clears throat> I will give my highlights. Um, all right, I'll, I'll skim through because, but this is what it's all about at the end of the day, isn't it? Um, I'll only allow it if you get Ryan to read out the entire list. Right, we'll come up with a nice long title for you. 
I'll gi- I'll give you the people the hint, the start of what set us off with the names, but then I'm gonna get we'll write a list out and get Ryan to read it out, and it'll be uh, a little thing made in honor of Jean de Savos. Oh, it hurts. It hurts to laugh. Uh, laughing that much nearly killed me. Yeah, me too. Me too. <clears> How <throat> hefty oh, fam. Hey, Yogurt. How you doing? Circuit, I'm still traveling, but yeah, nice meeting everyone. It was really good to have you there. There's a band of Druge searching for a particular type of person from Sarvos. That was quite fun. Yes. Vader and Tibbs got chucked out of Senate ballroom dance. Awesome. Did some of them find you? That's brilliant. That's fantastic. They were added to the pile of 25 Jean executed on Sunday. That's brilliant. Ah, Drewsby. Found Bolum. Excellent. That was brilliant. <laughs> Drewsby. That laugh I joined on Saturday was well needed after... Oh no, you died. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> That's... That sucks. Oh, yoga. Yeah. I the pro- I saw you and I said I would come back down. And I immediately got clawed up in even more stuff going on. I had a ritual to go to and I just completely forgot. Next time. Next time, though. Um, hope you feel better soon. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Um, Jude, we've got a few hits in against Bolam's retinue. Looks like it'll be re-rolling E1 or E2. Iron Tide next for me. Excellent. Excellent. That'll be fun. Um, berry picking is great. Uh, am I catching up with chat? Yay. I'm catching up. Um, I actually got to um, interact with Cal this event, which was sick. Diabora. Who were you, Diabora? I'd like to know who you were so I can remember. Um, I lost my character this weekend in the Sunday battle. In hot damn, need to decompress. Yeah, losing characters is harsh. It's really, really harsh. Me and Biscuit, we had a really nice chat about it when Mac died. And he said he's only played his character for one event. And he'd be, he'll be gutted when his character dies. So it doesn't matter how long you've played your character. Nine years. If you're Mike, nine minutes. But it's all... It's all about how you feel. It's what you put into it. And it sucks. It absolutely sucks balls. It really does. I've got Beth's phone now. Okay. Right, okay. That's going to be a weird one to get around. But excellent. But if... I hope you're okay. Take your time. Don't push it. Just chill. Today is the day that Steve almost caught up with chat. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Is Mike online tonight? Uh, I hope so. But I can't tell what chat is talking about, what happened before I joined. Um, I'm working my way through chat <laughs> at the moment, that's all. Uh, me and Mike have both died three times and at the same events each time. <sighs> Brutal. I'm so keen. Everyone's keen. You beat me to my next compliment, opening the gate on your first event. Awesome. Uh, silence. What was that about? Okay, I, I have COVID. I've got COVID. Um, I can always slow them down by force. Can't stop chat. No, don't stop chat. I'm catching up. My signs are hurting again. Shout out, Bowen. Um, uh, this morning, I found out. Um... Definitely did not rope bowling one. Oh, right. Did you? Oh, I have to check this. I have to check that. That's so funny. 
Um, Jewsby might be genuinely one of the... I go by the name of Flower. Yes, I look forward to seeing that. Um, it was a major one. I don't usually get too nervous, but I did fluff it quite a bit. I kept going, though, which was usually my goal, rather than getting it perfect. You opened the gate as well. That's amazing. Mr. Hanzo, I'm so lucky. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Uh, Stormcrow of New Ostland. Saw you a few times in the hall. Uh, were you, I, got, I complimented you on your kit, didn't I? Because it was awesome. I only had my character for two events. Had so many things lined up for her. Which nation to go to next? Excellent, yeah. First funeral. The tide and saw. I can. I, I imagine. I've managed to hit every bar. Mike continued his record of not making it through a, an event. It's not. It's not about how long Mike lasts. It's what they do in the time they remain alive. It was a very cool death, but still, some it's brutal. Had so many plans. It's unfortunately, unfortunately, the way. Um, but anything you didn't do, take into your next character because it gives you goals immediately to work towards. Didn't do too much barding. One of the times I did, I got to calm down a baby with my kalimba. What's a kalimba? No one say what's a kalimba with you. Because that's just bad. The T name for Bolum. Which one? I think I came up with a few. Um, he's speed running all the nations. He was planning to do all of them, yeah. Anyone here Dornish? We lost 25 people this event on Sunday. A lot of elves and well-known nobles. I've heard the number was more than that as well. So I've heard quite a few numbers but I'll be interested to see when PD say the official number because you know I was one of the militia trying to stop a load of angry marchers during a riot best moment I've had at Empire I heard about this I heard about this that sounded great uh, you did better than me I had a kid start crying because I existed in their door while waiting to try to sell something that rain Friday morning was so heavy, we sheltered another free-born free born family in our group tent to keep them dry. New friends now acquired, and we both managed to further each other's in-game goals over the weekend. Yeah, I put a link. I did a video of the uh, storm while at Hurst Hall. And speak of the devil, here is Ryan. Hello, handsome. How you doing? Um, and it was literally me videoing the rain and just doing a circle, just standing and spinning on the spot. Um, the links in the Discord, the rain was so heavy. Um, Hayden and Rabbit's stall, we had to take the flag down to put a pole up to push so the rain would slide off and all of that. Um, I was one of the ones laid out in the glory square. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That sucks. I'd like to state for the record, my count of 25 and the losses of Dawn are being 25 unre are unrelated. <laughs> um, as part of the Drew Magi EMU venoming down Imperials, I felt very guilty in military council when the butcher's bill was read. At oh, hi, Steve. You caught up, probably. Nope. Ben, that doesn't read very well, what you've put there. You might want to rethink that. <laughs> You'll get chaired. We will have babies next year to calm. Just saying. Um, Where you guys told to do that? I've been wondering. Uh, okay. Um, okay. I think they were trying to. I heard the frost loss. Okay. Uh, right, sure, um, much all right, it was brilliant. It was the only thing I got to see outside of the thing weekend. J Man, it was great to see everyone at the event. Had an amazing time and already looking forward to the next time. Yeah, yeah. I just, it's something that's only just occurred to me and it's a bit dumb, but you're my great nephew. Bell end. <laughs> Love you, J Man. You're awesome. Um,. Our favourite future names of people, dirty names, yep. 
It never rained. It ne oh, that's true. There was blue sky, so the rain is a myth. It's um, leftist woke propaganda, that rain, because there was blue sky, blue sky somewhere. It's so dumb. Um, I sat down and I heard it. Uh, ran like a maniac down to the Senate. Yeah. I've caught up. He is a great nephew. Uh, also, I realise I'm on a new account. Hope. Ah, oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. I love you, Matt. You're amazing. Saw you in um, a hub and stuff like that. It was really nice just to see you in passing. Um, yeah, it's Jean arriving to the, the camp. The thunderous deluge. No rain. Oh, yes. Beth has done amazing things with that hammer. I'm really proud to see where that's all gone. Um, actually did put the base layers on as that started. I was impressed PD managed to schedule flooding uh, to match the winds of fortune. Yeah, they did well. They did well. Um, I've forgotten all the things I've said I'd talk about now. So I'll, I'll start with one because it was a really nice moment. So Al. Al the Biffer. Me... Um, me and Al have never actually like really interacted in character properly, <clears throat> and um, oh, my throat is killing me. Um, <clears throat> sharp, Ryan, <laughs> stop it. Um. And we were stood at the star bar having a nice a nice conversation about oh we've made this much money, we've done this, it's all uh prosperous and that we've had a really great time. explain the titles in a, in a second and it was really nice um it was really nice because we were just it was like oh this is good this is good and then it became um and then it became uh i'll, I'll buy you a drink it's like no i'll buy you a drink we started shouting it at each other <laughs> to buy each other a drink and the the guy behind the bar, he must have been so confused. It was just like, wait a minute, they're arguing about buying each other a drink, and it was just getting louder and louder, and it was so funny. It was so good. It was a really nice interaction. It was great fun. Um, Shintact, how you doing? How are you? It was great. So, yeah, so Al gave me a great... It was so good. You think I can't buy my own drink? I'll buy you and your whole <laughs> drink. Yeah. It was so good. It was so good. Um, and I got arrested that night too. So, wow. Kind of, I had to pay a fine for assault. Which was, which was fantastic. Um, so. How can we do this? Ryan, are are you free to come on stream and chat? You you can you can come on and we can just chat about good things. Yeah, if you're free, chuck it into chat now, because then they I'll put it back to the opening and we can and they can listen to Pud sing, and we'll get I'll we'll nip into the Discord and we'll get you on if you want. If you can, if you're free. Um, and then we'll just get you to reel off. So there's a story behind it all, all, but I am not. Okay, that's fine, mate. We will do it another time. That's fine. That's not a problem. It's okay. Don't worry. Um, and no, Digby, you're coming on on Friday. We're talking on Friday. You, you get that whole... 
you get the whole stream on Friday. Um, and we were talking, there was a magazine. You're going to miss it. <laughs> um, we all need to. Yeah, I know. I know what we were like. I saw Cal at Orzel on Saturday before the ritual. It was great seeing the new character. Yeah. Yours any other time. Everyone had a super busy. Happy to cameo on Friday. Okay, well, do, you can do a little cameo on Friday for us. Um, but we were reading The Looking Glass, and Jean de Savos was mentioned for reasons, which we won't go into. It involved a lady. The lady will remain nameless. Helen on stream is a must. She is always welcome. Always. Um, and we won't go into all the other part of it because said lady needs to know what happened before it's talked about and discussed on stream but it led <laughs> thank you Al <laughs> um you could appear at any moment just behind me. Um, yeah, so it basically led to us naming Jean de Savos as well. Oh, that's brilliant, Remco. He'll be back. Good. First year recaps with new players. That's a good idea. Also go find a cop also go and find a copy of the looking glass, folks. Definitely. I haven't got one. Lenny, why is it hefty, messy and digby? We'll be there. Hey, Lenny's here. Lenny's here. Excellent. Wonderful. That's fantastic. That's really, really cool. I'm looking forward to it. Um So we came up with titles and we were going through it all. And so, Jean de Savos. But imagine it. I'm not going to do it justice. I'm not going to do it justice at all. But has everybody seen that Matt Berry clip? <coughs> um, where he's... Uh, I think it's um, what we do in the shadows. I think it's season three. Uh, where he, he says I'm not going to do it justice I'm just not because I feel so shit but I'll try it's um you really are the biggest bastard in all of New York City <laughs> that was that was that's the thing that it's taken from so you've got this is Jean de Sarbos, the slut of Sarbos, the twat of Temeshwa. And they go on and on and on. <clears throat> and on and on and on. There's loads. <clears throat> Me and James were sat next to each other at the fire and we couldn't look at each other because every single time see you later see you two later have a safe drive we couldn't look at each other because every time we did we were laughing it was that inf it was the sort of infectious laughter where you'd look at someone and you'd start laughing, and then they'd start laughing, and then everyone was laughing, and then it would sort of calm down a bit, and then we'd look at each other again, and James just started crying with laughter, and I'm crying with laughter, and basically everybody told us, look, just don't look at each other, face away from each other. We did, for about 30 seconds, and we would look, and it just kept on going on and on. And then it was all sort of topped off, um, Temer's schwa. <laughs> um, the tosser 
of Temeshwar. Um, <laughs> where... <laughs> I'm not doing the strike then, because I will not do that justice, at all. That is a Ryan thing. Ryan has to do that himself. I will not take that away from Ryan. <clears throat> and um, no, not doing strike then. Um, and when Digby goes to bed, we have a thing. A song that we like to sing for Digby when he goes to bed. Everyone out of character, I encourage you to sing this to Digby whenever you sing. <laughs> um, so, good night, Digby, good night. Oh, good night, Digby, good night. Even when someone else goes to bed, it was good night, Digby, good night. And then um, we were talking, we were doing it for something else, and um, Digby started shouting at us from inside the tent. And then it became, fuck off, Digby, fuck off. <laughs> and then we were doing something else, and he started doing, started talking to us again, and it became, shut up, Digby, shut up. <laughs> It was brilliant. Oh, I'm crying now. It was so good. It was so funny. Ah, oh, the fuck off song as people disappeared into the fog. Yeah. No, sorry, I can't leave him. I can't leave him, Renko. It's it's carrying on, my friend. Um. So, how long before this appears in your stream, Digby? It won't take long. It won't take long. Um, but it was so funny, and Digby started a cult as well, so it was really good, that was brilliant. So, um, right, Thursday. <coughs> it's not a cult, it's a cult. Um, yeah, so on the Thursday, speaking to a lot of people, there seems to be a lot of trepidation going about for everybody so I can't read that word Digby sorry um, was it C-U-L-T I don't know um, but yeah Digby has started a union um, take pride in your new cult see um, and um Every, there was a lot of trepidation about a lot of people f were feeling anxious and there was a lot of worry about the event. I think the weather had caused it all and, and everything. And it was it was interesting talking to everybody because everyone was a bit nervous, a bit worried. But I think when time in started, it, it kept on going. Um, it went very quickly, rather, I should say. And it turned into a really good... Um, start so like friday was a good evening so it was just a I, I i find fridays are just lots of meetings and a lot of people talking about how we're going to do this we're going to do that we're going to do the other um so it was that was good that was good to see saturday now i wasn't going to take the field until I heard we were fighting with the Navarre and the Marchers. Um, it was good to see bump into people as well. It was weird times to stop for chats. So like stopping and chatting to Johnny as well was good fun. Um, Justin was good fun in the Navarre looking for the two feet. <coughs> Um, yeah, oh, yeah, the, so on the Friday, with that rain, a lot of people got soaked, a lot of people's tents leaked, um, so, uh, big deal in Digby, um, uh, Liam, rather, 
Um, there were a few places that we went off to. And um, the early near collapse of Wintermark sent Oh, don't get me started in that. And um, it was it was great because everyone sort of jumped in and helped each other. Um, and it was good to see everyone sort of pull together. So I would, me and Chris were off helping a lot of people out. Uh, Chris helped Liam like waterproof the back of his tent. That's not a euphemism. Um, we hung all, a lot of so Ryan's tent flooded. And we got all of his soft kit dry so he could wear it all. And that's so I ran around round and I did all and we, we were doing all of that and I helped a lot and then everybody went and got into kit and I thought, okay, it's like five past six now, I should get into my kit. And um <laughs> and I went in and our tent had leaked a little bit. All of my soft kit. Well, 95% of my soft kit was soaked. I still haven't taken it out of the bag yet. I don't want to. <laughs> so I was walking around wearing Max get up for this whole event. Might have been why I was having such a good time, probably, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah. So my event started really badly, to be honest. So, because I was absolutely wet through, but same with Ryan and a lot of other people but it's turned out to be wonderful so the battle on saturday is when everything really started um i fought just another human to me <laughs> and i just i so say we fought in that hey abby how you doing how's the t-shirt and we we went in, I had a small group of people with me, so uh, Patrick was with me, um, Hayden, uh, Digby, um, we sort of, sort of flitted around between everyone and that, um, there it was, uh, Dan was about, Dino Wookie, he was there, it was... It was nice just to go off and do a load of things with all these people and that. Just I didn't want to go off with a group because I find it boring. I want more like to roam around. And it was a lot of fun. And the centre of the wet of the Wintermark line had about four people in it. <laughs> that was this whole centre and a marcher and yeah. One of the monster marchers got through and caused an absolute... It was just running around like a lunatic. Hey, Max. You looked awesome covered in blood in the best possible of IC ways. You did well. He's made... So, Rabbit made ten thrones, did he? That was awesome. Um, Abby, Max as well, just so you know, I have COVID. Um... I didn't really see towards the end of the event up up close, but it might be worth getting yourself checked out if you feel shit. Uh, so yeah, just to get yourself tested. Um, what else? What am I talking about? I've forgotten. So yeah, so that was the bat. Ah, uh, I everyone in that battle as well. I mean, fuck me. Everyone fed me Scots meads. I would turn around and I'd have a had a I'd have a Scots mead shoved in my face, and then I was turn around and push back to the front. So I used shatter about forty times in that fight. It was absolutely amazing. Forty shatters. It was great fun. I was involved in a standoff with that orc that ran through the lines and ended up having a small sword fight with them. They fled. Excellent. Good. But I think if you're behind enemy lines, you do tend to just run. I know I did. Um, but yeah. Good to see you. Thank you, CJ. 
that. So yeah, so the battle was fantastic. It didn't last too long, but you know, it didn't matter. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so that was good. Then I went to a meeting with the Axos about drugs. A lot of excellent fighting in that battle, even solid pull blowed and keen up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, music while I was in the battle. You'll have to remind me, hun. I I'm, I know I've forgotten so much. I know I've forgotten so much. You'll have to remind me what I was told, or give me a prompt. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. Oh yeah. I'll come to that after the Axos thing. Thank you. Um. So did the Axos thing and bought a load. Bought loads of drugs, loads of IC drugs. Um, I'm now the probably the biggest drug dealer in the empire. Um, which is hilarious. So if you want any drugs, come to see me. Um. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, if. I sell all of my drugs for two thrones apiece, which is what they go for at the moment. Um, I'll make 400 thrones. So, yeah. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah. So, loads of money, which will be hilarious. And then I'm going to go and blow it all on drugs. Um... Yeah, so I had a message. I will have mo. I'll have like eighty percent of the empire's drugs. Yeah, need a bodyguard. I am a body. I'm my own bodyguard. I've because I I'm now on the same hits as Mac, which is insane. So, but thank you, Matt P. Um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Cal's just as crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm, I got a message during, um, the Saturday. Um, a documentary filmmaker has reached out to me about getting, want, about making a documentary about LARP and they want me to be involved in it. Which is crazy. Which is absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, not what I was expecting. But LARP is going through the absolute... It's become so popular. And it's so cool. Um, I'm glad that I can just... Hopefully, this will just help me... <coughs> get that bit bigger and also... Exactly. Uh, that'll be next year. We'll do that. Notice Max Steve with like water through your fingers. Get the resulting drugs and run. No, because I'm not holding any money. Because I've got other people to do that for me. Which oh yeah, so Mac is also well. Uh, that's not really my plot to talk about. That's someone else's plot to talk about. But yeah, that is epic news, and I look forward to to that immensely when they put when they come through because I know they will um it's going to be great really really good um so uh this is um a person who made a documentary about Diego Maradona um for Italian people and um yeah and she's very very it seems like she's very good at what she does uh so yeah, hopefully I can, yeah, do the hobby proud and bring more people in. So, um, yeah, so Mac, there. Sorry, I heard things going crazy in my old age. So, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a lot of great things. Um, and I'm also probably getting interviewed for a newspaper as well um, about LARP too. Win-win. Big stuff. 
um, from documentary about drug user to try. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. But yeah, so the Axos stuff was really, really good. And then obviously having that crash, but it's, um, everything is picking up. And with all the bad stuff that happens, it's all positive. Everyone has treated it all as absolute positives. So even the rain, while it was bad at the time, it's a positive because you see so many pulling people pulling together um, as well. So that was fantastic, and it's been fantastic to see and hear because with it, it's um, it's not just me blowing smoke out of my ass and saying that everyone's so nice and friendly, blah blah blah, but it's actually proving it as well. Everyone has been so good, and everyone was being so nice. It felt much more of a. I mean, there were there were over thirty five hundred people at that event, and having um, everyone come together and actually help everybody was absolutely fantastic to see. It was so good. Um, yes, that potion. Thank you, Ryan, and big deal. I bought a potion for six thrones on the Saturday. Oh, it's not around here. Um, and it was a potion from the Night Realm. <clears throat> uh, made by an Eternal called something that I've forgotten. Um, someone Ryan will remember. I know Ryan will remember. Um, Azoth. Nope. Jim Bob. Thank you. Um, yes, Azoth. Uh, being... That was... It was fantastic. Um, so I prepared to take it on Sunday. And I spoke to the Egregore about it. And he just turned around and said, I will take this next event. Because this is what's called a fun token. So fun tokens are literally PD throwing bits of plot out. Um, all right, I'm going to slow down chat again. Well, not slow down. I'm just going to pause chat for me. Um, so they give all these things out. And it's basically plot. On a, it's just pl They go, here's some plot. Simple bit of plot. Get involved in that. Um, and then you'll... It leads into other things. So I'm about to get absolutely spanked. Not like the slut of Savos, but the twat of Temeshwa. Um, but I'm going to, it's, yeah, going to be interesting. So I'm going to take that next event on the Saturday morning. Um, maybe on the Friday evening, to be honest, actually. Just so I can deal with whatever. So Azoth is the Eternal of Transformation, which is gonna be really interesting. Um, night one, yeah, something of change, distilled dreams. Being able to do rituals for you all during the weekend was amazing. So please look at that information, yeah. So Ryan is a legend at doing performing rituals. So he did a ritual for me because I now have a military unit. So I'm co so I'm going to Brokelion to have a fight because I want to see the heart of the Valorn. And I had a ritual done, which means that my units are um, Minotaurs. How amazing is that? And um, but he didn't do the ritual like he stood there going, oh, all of this stuff, all of this stuff, blah, blah, blah. It was a conversation, literally a conversation about what the ritual did. And it was so good. It was so different. It was fantastic. I highly recommend people seek Leofric out for rituals because uh, he's just so good at it. He was so good at it. Um I had, I had such fun at this event. I got over so many anxiety hurdles. I can't wait for E1. Excellent. So Jazz has kit that I am so jealous of. She looks absolutely incredible. 
and she is so selfless as well. My one interaction with her was me dying for food at Moorish and her running over to give me something to pass on to a new player. Amazing. Um, see, amazing. I'm so glad you had a great event, Jazz. I really, really am. I need to. So I'm so disappointed in myself. That I didn't come over and see you and Pete because all I, I really wanted to, but I was. Just, I just felt so busy all the time. I need to make time. But um, taking night drugs without me. Yeah, I know. I know some night majors would love to examine you after you take it. Well, yeah, they're more than welcome to. <clears throat> I was blown away by people's kindness during the event. In between losing a wadge of cash, dropping my debit card between the f uh, forged floorboards, and dropping all my IC money somewhere on the field. I had a bit of bad luck, but lots of people helped me out. Oh no, I'm... It's harsh. That's so harsh. I hope everything is sorted for you. I really, really do. Um, it's awesome. I'm so glad you bought it. The person who bought it for five thrones and decided to sell it to you must be upset. Yeah, free plot is amazing. I'm now aiming my night cannon at you. Good. Good. Yeah, Brock crew for the win. Definitely. Um, my housemate, my housemate Sirio would like to know who put the article in the looking glass, asking to ask Sirio Barossa to view his collection of chest wigs. He says he's making us both laugh. He had no idea who did it. Um, that's so cool. That's brilliant. I'm I'm tempted to start making things up in character about people, just to chuck them in the looking glass. Because I think it would be so much funny to do. Because it's, it's happened to me before with my first character, Cernanos. Where people accused him of being a werewolf who, we, who ate children. It was fantastic. I'm very sorry I didn't buy one of the mystery bags at the market. Do you want to do it next time, Circuit? Do it next time. But it's very much a case of, like I, like I love to say, say yes to everything experience it because you'll have fun um but yeah reese's autumn okay oh they've released the upcoming dates that's good um i was given i was giving the last few away but didn't see it. i will make you something to eat one i'm now known as the lucky dip baba that's you oh, that's amazing that's so cool I will have to come and find you because I I've had people tell me about the lucky dip baba. That's so cool, very very cool. Um, yeah, he's all right now. Do it. They literally ask for gossip. I give permission for anyone to make rumors up about Brat, but it's not a rumor if what we come up with it actually turns out to be true. Um, the money pouch itself, OC belongings got returned to God, thankfully, but the money was gone. Uh, where they stole your barbarian money. Oh, right, no, your IC money was gone. Okay, yeah, that sucks. That does suck. I'm sorry. Come and sing at Hurst Hall, because... You'll probably get tipped to throne. Uh, weird, uh, weird for me to say. It's uh, for me. It says the website is down. I should say what appeared in the looking glass about that rakish cad is not exactly the truth. No, but we're gonna run with it. <laughs> As a fisher, I've got plenty of rumors spread about me. Might as well get it in writing as well, definitely. The unlucky dip, Baba of Misfortune. That was me. Excellent. The group and character Brack fans set up for Brat does mean that anything you come up with could well be true. Definitely. Um, I'll take you up on that. 
Well, so I I've, I've made good friends with. There's some new players that have come to Empire. It was their second event. Um, so there's a guy called Josh. Um, he's a really nice guy. I get on really well with him. And he comes over, he asks, messages me, he asks loads of questions, and he's very, very keen. He started off in Navarre, he's come down. Um, and he brought a couple of friends with him, who I'm not going to name, um, because it's not fair to, I don't think. I think, uh, I don't think they've really put anything up about them coming to LARP yet, so, but people who know me know who I'm talking about. And please don't mention their name in chat. <clears throat> um, basically, those two are going to be running around selling all of my drugs. So we're going to be, very, well, I'm going to be very cash rich. Um, that's so. Um, Hurst Hall will get a share, if I'm still in Hurst Hall. Um, Long Dark, I'll be, I'll be doing a lot of thinking and deciding what I need to do in game. Um, for my own sanity more than anything else um, we had a couple of thefts in the marches really upsetting OC stuff too including inhalers and car keys that weren't in handed in for hours <sighs> email, get, get them to email PD and complain please please contact PD um I nearly didn't go to this event because my anxiety has been going wild all week. But I knew I'd make the right decision. When I heard someone say during shopping, a sword is like a condom. It's better to have one and not need it than need it but not have it. That was good. That's good. I like that. It's like I found my people. Good. Um, definitely dropped a throne due to my cur my coin pouch not being closed properly. Yeah, long dark. Long dark is long. Um, PD, do need, my hall put locks on the tent. That's good, that's sensible, I think. Um, what would people like to do during the long dark? Because we need to do something. Let's do something. Um, but it, it is a... Both... I'd love to do a player event, a feast of some description, but I'll need help with it. Um, I'd like to... I've got, for E1... Uh, you are allowed to lockpick, but only... Um, a drug feast, yeah. Um, you are allowed to lockpick, but only if it's not going to damage the lock. If it damages the lock, then you're it's um, criminal damage. So just I just wouldn't bother. <clears throat> um, a few socials, but a work opportunity might mean I can't do anything. So yeah, long dark is as, as is as Becca has said there. It's just the long break between E four and E one. Um, so at E one. I'm planning on doing something really big for people. So we have casual gamer guy. Um, he's a, he's from Sweden and he's been wanting to like many people. He's been wanting to be coming to Empire for years. He's he's had a rough year. For his reasons. Um, and this is going to be a good way of helping him break out of bad stuff and coming into something good and positive which LARP is so I want to do something where we can help get someone over from Sweden um, to come over here come to Empire so everybody who's got friends coming for the first time and stuff like that if, they, if you can give them my code um, because I want to start giving out a lot of new tickets to people. Um, 
So we we're going to want to get him over and then do the makeover thing um, to take him off £200 and do that. But with that as well, I don't want the second person to be done at the traders. So it's going to be Trader Alley versus the Hefty Fam. I want to have someone fully kitted up on things that have been made by the Hefty Fam. How does that sound? See you later, Yogurt. Thank you for watching. And thank you. I will try. Um, so, stuff that has been made by the Hefty Fam. Be it so trousers or a skirt or a dress tunic leg wraps i'm off i'm dead <laughs> i know how you feel um uh braces a weapon handmade trinkets jewelry anything like that that is what i want to do essentially store bought Versus homemade. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They were very, very grateful. Hey, Pat. How you doing, mate? Good to see you, bud. So, that is what I want to do. And I know that we can... And I know that we can do it. Um, so, I will be putting a thing in the Discord at some point for all of the people who can make stuff and we will I've got the um, the IC mail secret Santa thing which I will actually do um, I can't remember what it's uh, IC mail wasn't it the male's revenge. All right, we're ready to. Right, so everyone who is in it. Um, I'm going to go through. do it now just because why not basically it's going so slow but you know Right. Group page. Right, draw. Let's do start drawing names. Draw names. It's doing in the thing now. We need a nation character type with enough time to make things ahead of time, however, which is the downside compared to market right here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be um when it's all sorted. Which I'm hope which will be before Christmas. Um, we'll be um, we'll get everything sorted so people have time and we know who's involved and stuff like that. So yeah, don't worry about that. <clears throat> okay, I don't know who this person is. Excellent, perfect. So if you took part in the IC um, mail thing, the names have been drawn. I feel sorry for my person. No, I'm not Mac. I don't feel sorry for my person. They're, they're meeting a nice guy. Uh, rough sizes. Yep, everyone who's involved, we all know everything. Um, and I'll we'll get it sorted before Christmas, so don't worry. Um... Right. I I can feel um I can feel my fever kicking in. 
and I'm starting to sweat. I'm gonna have to go. I'm not. I'm not feeling very well at all. Um, thank you everybody for coming along to watch. I know. I know there's still so much to talk about. So much to talk about. And all I want to do is keep on talking. Um, I can feel myself falling asleep, to be honest, as well. Um, let's go and raid someone. Is anyone... That's if there is anyone to raid. Is anyone I know? Oh, right, yeah, that person. So we're going to go and do the thing. No, No one's... Um, no one's done spent points on directing a raid yet. No. Thank you for the bits, Jazz. Um, but yeah, I was um, the cuckolder of Cassinia has spoken. <sighs> Such a dick. You're awesome. Yeah, you're all wonderful, and I'm glad you've all had a good good event as well. I haven't had a I'm sorry for the person who's lost money, um, but I'm hope there are still positives. And good night, dig be good night. Oh, good night, dig be good night. <sighs> right, we're gonna go raid. Go sp spread some love. Be the wholesome bastards that I know you to be okay and go off do the thing um, love you all see you all soon and um, have a good evening everyone stay safe bye bye